At face value, a car like this should attract a very identifiable, very specific target audience. After all, long wheelbase luxury sedans with all the trimmings and privacy glass exist primarily to offer VIPs and government ministers the mobile palaces they are accustomed to. But this car is a little bit different. It's a BMW 760Li and it has a V12 twin turbo engine, which means it's rapid, very rapid indeed. Okay, you'd expect a flagship BMW sedan with a big V12 to deliver brisk performance and we all know that the brass don't like dawdling. But the 760Li plays in a different league. It's seriously fast, with the sprinting capabilities of a sports car, which is why we've brought it to the drag strip at Tarleton Raceway. It may look like a limo, but under that sober business-like exterior beats the heart of a tar-ripping performance machine. There aren't too many visual clues to alert fellow motorists to the Ally's elevated dynamics. For all intents and purposes, this is a long wheelbase 7, dedicated to providing rear occupants with stretch out space. Externally, the BMW relies on its big and bold front end to confirm its membership of the 7 Series clan. But despite the extra length, it does retain its lean and lithe physique. Sure, it's an imposing car, but never at the expense of athletic appeal. Only if you view it in profile do you realize that this BMW is longer than any other 7, making for a rear that's a little more heavy set than the standard version. The large wheel arches provide a home to 19-inch alloy wheels, which look unexpectedly small in relation to the car's considerable bulk. Still, the overall design manages to disguise the generous dimensions of the Beamer quite successfully, and like the other current generation 7 Series models, the styling is sleeker and more cohesive than the previous more controversial version. Because of the extended wheelbase, the big BMW offers capacious accommodation for both front and rear occupants, together of course with all the luxury bells and whistles. Now if you sit in the front of this car, you could be in any 7 Series, but in the LI, the real boss sits at the back, which is why the accommodation here is absolutely superior. The individual rear seats are not only sculpted for ultimate comfort and support, but can also be individually adjusted. Integrated LCD displays offer an intuitive control interface via the latest iDrive system, but are also great for watching movies on the move. The upper class finishes are in line with the 7's premium grade positioning. Soft hide and glossy wood finishes vie for attention and an aura of sophistication permeates the entire space. The long features list includes innovative extras such as the surround camera system as well as driver assistance systems such as a heads up display, lane departure warning, active cruise control and adaptive headlights. The boot is huge offering 500 litres of luggage space but in the context of a car this big I would have expected even more. Here's something else that's huge, the BMW's big 6-litre V12 engine. It uses twin turbochargers, one turbocharger per bank, and is probably one of the most efficient but also most powerful production engines BMW has ever built. Maximum power output of 400 kilowatts, and that's matched to a prodigious torque output of 750 newton meters. The high-tech V12 is coupled to the same state-of-the-art 8-speed automatic gearbox also now fitted to the latest BMW 5 Series. Another highlight is the electronically controlled independent air suspension system. A choice of comfort, sport and sport plus settings allows the driver to tailor the settings to suit driving style and road conditions. As a result, the BMW always feels more wieldy, more involving than that 5.2 meter body length actually suggests. The active suspension means there's very little body roll to speak of and the four-wheel steering also tightens steering response. The result? Much more of a driver's car than you'd expect. In fact, it's so much fun to drive with gusto that I wouldn't be surprised if more than a few 760Li owners decided to sack their chauffeurs and ended up driving the big Bavarian themselves. The twin-turbo V12's instant shove and sustained urge ensure that the sedan accelerates with the brutal force of a steam train. The figures bear out those impressions. The car slingshots from 0 to 100 in only 4.6 seconds, top speed as per usual limited to 250 km an hour, and the in-gear thrust is absolutely sensational thanks to 184 kilowatt per ton power to weight ratio. Various efficiency driven measures limit the combined cycle fuel consumption figure to just 13 litres per 100 kilometres, but CO2 exhaust emissions come to 303 grams per kilometre, which won't please the bunny huggers. 
So, the 760LI won't win any prizes at an eco gallery, but in the context of large luxury limousines, this is a car that really does have it all. Space, style, safety, power and performance, the BMW offers all of those in abundance. But considering that it also does a 0 to 100 time in under 5 seconds, perhaps this is a car you'll find at a drag strip more often than not. Six litres of turbocharged V12 provide eye-watering power and steam train shove, allowing the BMW to shrug off its considerable bulk and deliver tar-ripping performance. But for all its dynamic appeal, its advanced technology and its expansive interior, the BMW remains too opulent and too expensive for normal mortals.